California is a state that has been featured in countless songs, movies, books, and TV series. It is known for its beautiful beaches, its well-recorded history, and its status as the home of Hollywood. However, there is more to California than just that. In this video, we will explore more about this sunny paradise with these captivating California facts. Have you ever seen the Windows XP wallpaper? That iconic image of a green hill and a blue sky? It's one of the most viewed photographs in history, and it was actually taken right here in California. The photo was taken by photographer Charles O'Rear in Sonoma County in January 1996. He was on his way to visit his girlfriend when he saw the hill and pulled over to take a picture. He didn't use any digital filters or alterations, and he sold the rights to Microsoft for an undisclosed amount in 2000. The image was originally called Bliss, but it's now more commonly known as the Windows XP wallpaper. It's been used on billions of computers around the world, and it's become one of the most recognizable images in history. The internet is one of the most important inventions of the modern age. It has changed the way we communicate, the way we learn, and the way we do business. But did you know that the internet originated in California? In the 1960s, the US Department of Defense funded a network called the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, ARPANET. ARPANET allowed multiple computers to connect and communicate through a single network with the use of packet switching. This was a revolutionary new technology that would eventually lead to the development of the internet. The first message ever sent over ARPANET was sent from a computer in a UCLA lab to another computer at Stanford. The message was supposed to be log in, but the system crashed after only the first two letters were sent. So the first message ever sent over the internet was LO. The internet has come a long way since those early days, but it all started right here in California. <laughs> California is a state with many nicknames. Some of these nicknames are well known, while others are more obscure. But all of these nicknames have one thing in common. They all capture the unique spirit of the Golden State. The most famous nickname for California is the Golden State. This nickname comes from the fields of golden poppies that bloom in the springtime, as well as the discovery of gold in 1848. But California also goes by many other nicknames, including the Land of Milk and Honey, the Grape State, the Sunshine State, El Dorado State, the Golden West. These are a few of California's many nicknames. Which one is your favorite? <laughs> California is a state of extremes. It has the highest and lowest points in the contiguous United States. And while Alaska may have the tallest mountain in North America, California has the tallest mountain in the lower 48 states. Mount Whitney is a massive granite mountain that towers over the Sierra Nevada range. It stands at an elevation of 14,505 feet, making it the highest point in the contiguous United States. Mount Whitney is a popular destination for hikers and climbers, but it's also a challenging climb. The summit is only accessible by trail, and the hike is typically a two-day journey, but the views from the summit are worth the effort. On a clear day, you can see for hundreds of miles in every direction. You can see the Sierra Nevada Range, the Mojave Desert, and even the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Death Valley National Park is home to some of the most extreme landscapes in North America. It's the hottest, driest, and lowest place in the contiguous United States, and at the heart of Death Valley is Badwater Basin, the lowest point in North America. Badwater Basin is a vast salt flat that lies 282 feet below sea level. It's a surreal place where the salt crust is so thick that you can walk across it for miles. And because it's so low, the air is incredibly dense, making it feel like you're breathing underwater. Badwater Basin is also home to some of the most unique plants and animals in the world. These include salt-tolerant plants like pickleweed and saltbush, as well as animals like the brine shrimp and the tadpole shrimp. <laughs> Hollywood is the home of the movie industry, but it wasn't always that way. In the early days of cinema, filmmakers were constantly being sued by Thomas Edison, who owned the patents for many of the essential technologies used in filmmaking. This led many filmmakers to flee to Hollywood, California, where they could operate outside of Edison's reach. Thomas Edison was a brilliant inventor, but he was also a ruthless businessman. He used his patents to control the entire film industry, and he often sued independent filmmakers who tried to operate without his permission. This led to a climate of fear and intimidation in the film industry, and many filmmakers were forced to give up their dreams of making movies. But there was one place where filmmakers could escape Edison's reach, Hollywood, California. Hollywood was a remote area at the time, 
and it was far enough away from Edison's legal reach. So filmmakers began to flock to Hollywood, and the city soon became a hotbed of film production. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a household name, known for his iconic roles in films like The Terminator and Predator. But did you know that he also served as the 38th governor of California? Schwarzenegger was born in Austria in 1947, and he immigrated to the United States in 1968. He quickly became a star in the bodybuilding world, and he won the Mr. Olympia title seven times. He then transitioned to acting, and he starred in a number of successful films. In 2003, Schwarzenegger ran for governor of California as a Republican. He was elected in a recall election, and he served two terms in office. <laughs> California is a state full of surprises, and one of the most surprising things about California is that it once had a dog mayor. In 1981, the people of the unincorporated town of Suñol, California, elected a black Labrador retriever named Bosco Ramos as their honorary mayor. Bosco was a beloved member of the community, and he was known for his friendly personality and his love of people. Bosco's election as mayor was a tongue-in-cheek way for the people of Suñol to express their love for their town and their sense of humor. But Bosco took his role as mayor seriously, and he even had his own official mayoral sash and gavel. Bosco served as mayor of Suñol until his death in 1994. <laughs> California is a state of extremes. It's one of the most seismically active places in the world. California sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire, a belt of volcanoes and fault lines that encircles the Pacific Ocean. This means that California is constantly being rattled by earthquakes. In fact, the state averages about 37,000 earthquakes each year. Most of these earthquakes are too small to be felt, but some of them can be quite powerful. The most famous California earthquake was the 1,906 San Francisco earthquake, which measured 7.9 on the Richter scale and caused widespread damage. When you think of fortune cookies, you probably think of Chinese food. But did you know that fortune cookies actually originated in California? The exact origins of fortune cookies are a bit murky, but there are a few different stories about how they came to be. One story says that they were invented by a Japanese immigrant named Makoto Hagiwara in the early 1900s. Hagiwara was the head baker at the Japanese tea garden in San Francisco, and he started making fortune cookies as a way to entertain his customers. Another story says that fortune cookies were invented by a Chinese immigrant named David Jung in Los Angeles. Jung was the owner of a Chinese restaurant, and he started making fortune cookies as a way to attract customers. No matter who invented them, fortune cookies quickly became popular in California. They were seen as a unique and exotic treat, and they were soon being served in Chinese restaurants all over the state. <laughs> California is home to a wide variety of plants and animals. Some of the most iconic animals in California include the grizzly bear, the California condor, and the sea otter. But there are also many rare and endangered species that call California home. For example, the California clapper rail is a small bird that lives in salt marshes. It's one of the most endangered birds in North America, with only a few thousand left in the wild. The San Francisco garter snake is another rare species that's only found in California. It's a small, harmless snake that's black with yellow stripes. And the California golden trout is a beautiful fish that's found in the Sierra Nevada mountains. It's a popular game fish, but it's also endangered due to habitat loss. In the wild, American bison are found in the Great Plains of North America. But there's a herd of these majestic animals that live on a different kind of landscape altogether. Santa Catalina Island, off the coast of Southern California. The story of how these bison came to be on Catalina Island is an interesting one. In 1924, a film crew brought 14 bison to the island to be used in the filming of the movie The Vanishing American. But when the film wrapped, the crew decided not to return the bison to the mainland. The bison thrived on Catalina Island and their population quickly grew. Today, there are around 150 bison on the island, making it one of the largest bison herds in the world. <laughs> California has more national parks than any other state. Each of California's national parks is unique and offers its own special attractions. Yosemite National Park is home to towering granite cliffs, giant sequoia trees, and cascading waterfalls. Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks are home to some of the tallest trees in the world. Joshua Tree National Park is home to a variety of desert plants and animals, including the iconic Joshua Tree. 
California is a state of champions, and its professional sports teams are no exception. With 19 major professional sports leagues, California has more major sports teams than any other state. Some of the most popular professional sports teams in California include the Los Angeles Lakers and Golden State Warriors of the National Basketball Association (NBA), the Los Angeles Rams of the National Football League (NFL), and the Anaheim Ducks of the National Hockey League (NHL). California is also home to a number of Major League Baseball (MLB) teams, including the Los Angeles Dodgers, the San Francisco Giants, and the Oakland Athletics. And in the world of soccer, California is home to two major league soccer MLS teams, the Los Angeles Galaxy and the San Jose Earthquakes. <laughs> California is home to some of the most productive agricultural lands in the country. In fact, California produces more agricultural products than any other state in the United States. It's responsible for half of the nation's fruits, vegetables, and nuts. And it produces 99% of the country's commercial artichoke crop and 95% of its garlic crop. There are a few reasons why California is such a productive agricultural state. First, the climate is ideal for growing a wide variety of crops. Second, the state has a lot of fertile land. And third, California farmers have access to the latest agricultural technology. <laughs> California's highway signs are a testament to that history. Instead of the usual circles or rectangles, California's signs sport upward-facing shovel shapes, referencing the spades that miners used during the California Gold Rush. The California Gold Rush was a period of rapid economic growth in the state, and it attracted people from all over the world. The shovel-shaped signs are a reminder of this time, and they also serve as a warning to drivers to be careful on the roads. The shovel-shaped signs are also a symbol of California's pioneering spirit. The state is known for its entrepreneurial spirit, and the shovel-shaped signs represent the state's willingness to take risks and explore new opportunities. <laughs> California is home to both palm trees and pine trees, which represent the two different climates of the state. In the south, it's hot and dry, while in the north, it's cooler and more temperate. There's a place in California where these two worlds meet. It's called Where the Palm Meets the Pine, and it's located on Highway 99 near the midpoint of the state. <laughs> California is home to some of the most magnificent trees in the world. These trees are so tall and large that they make you feel like you're in a different world. The two types of redwoods that grow in California are the coastal redwood, Sequoia sempervirens, and the giant sequoia, Sequoia dendron giganteum. The coastal redwood is the tallest tree in the world, with some specimens reaching over 300 feet tall. The giant sequoia is the largest tree in the world by volume, with some trees having a circumference of over 100 feet. <laughs> Did you know that the first Disney theme park was built in California? Disneyland Park in Anaheim, California, opened in 1955 and was the brainchild of Walt Disney himself. Disney had always dreamed of creating a place where people of all ages could come together and have fun, and Disneyland was his vision brought to life. The park was an instant success, and it quickly became one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. Today, Disneyland is still going strong, and it's visited by millions of people every year. <laughs> California is one of the most economically powerful states in the world. California's economy is massive. It produces a gross state product of about $3 trillion, making it the world's largest subnational economy. That's more than the entire economy of France. California's economy is diverse, but it relies mostly on domestic and international trade. The state is a major exporter of agricultural products, technology, and entertainment. If California were a separate country, it would have the fifth largest economy in the world. That's ahead of the United Kingdom, France, and India. That's all for this video on Captivating California Facts. I hope you learned something new about this beautiful state. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any other California facts you'd like to share, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.